So let's toss it back to Vinny with a game called Doola Doobie Star. This is a Chinese Mario Galaxy knockoff. I was cleaning out my hard drive and I found it and I streamed this years ago. I figured it was a good idea to revisit this because when I streamed it, it was a much smaller stream and I figure, well, this is something that needs to be, needs to be seen. So yes, I, my name is Ma Mariep. All right, and I'm a dragon. And I exist in... I don't know where I exist in. I don't, I don't actually know. I, I. Okay. Um, as you can see here, this is an original concept. Do not steal. The movement speed is abysmal. The camera is abysmal. There, there is n very little redeeming quality about this game. Oh, <laughs> original con. What? The fuck is the Jeopardy theme doing in this game? I, I do not remember the Jeopardy theme being in this game. Okay. Jeopardy! I don't remember that! Fuck this game so hard. So this is, again, original concept, uh, first level concept. I got it, guys. I got my first, uh, star piece. I mean, crystal piece. So not only was this game a bitch to get working, but I already regret this decision. Immediate regret. Apparently this is Ponyo music. I don't know what that means, but this is, I guess, ripped off music. So not even the music in this game is original. So check out these quality water graphics. It's just an animated texture. There's no depth. Manya. He says Manya when he's hurt. Oh, Marip. M-A-R-I-P, which they meant to call him Mario, but they hit the wrong letter on the keyboard, and the P is right next to the O. It was, it was a, it was a debacle, but it, it worked out in the end to avoid litigation. <laughs> it's not very much fun. Why do, do, okay, that's an instant death then, you don't just lose, okay. I tried to jump, like, you know, when you are when you play a Mario game, you have control over Mario's movement. Like, so if you make a bad jump, you can correct yourself in the air to a slight degree and potentially save your ass. Not this game. Doola Doobie does not do that. Doola Doobie does not fuck around with air physics. So this is a speed run of Doola Doobie Star, and let me show you some pro strategies. Let me show you the famous infringement hop strat. No style, no grace. This game is a fucking disgrace. Okay! Are you kidding me? I I'm stuck inside the stem. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm stuck in a stem! Oh, thank God. I would have been awful if I couldn't play the rest of this game. I love bootlegs and Chinese knockoffs. I really do. They can be beautiful sometimes. They can have their own beauty. What is that? That's the sound of saran wrap. That is a really bizarre sound effect. It sounds like sticky saran wrap. I hate it. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die every time I hear that noise. <laughs> I hate it. I like how there's there's an illusion of choice. The game is linear, but you get an illusion of choice, like you can choose your own level. Yeah. 
loving this difficulty spike. We went from fighting one Triceratops to now three Triceratops. All next to each other, guys. So, like, while they were trying to hide the fact that this is a Mario Galaxy ripoff, they leave the one thing that's on the screen at all times that could point to the fact that it's a Mario Galaxy ripoff. It's Mario's white glove. There's, there's a house. Look, there's a little hut. It's gonna be way bigger on the inside. Right? Oh, no, never mind. I can't go in there. It was a ruse. The torture tonight has been, like, off the charts. How great would it be if, if Doola Doobie crashed into a planet and just died? Like that noise that you just heard was his face smacking headfirst into the planet. And then the game just ended. And that was it. That would- that would make this a game worth talking about. Also, I- wasn't I just on this level with the same enemies that made the same stupid fucking frog saran wrap noises? That was a new noise. In a game of limited assets, hearing a new noise is very exciting. It sounds like a frog is fart burping. I'm sorry, vomiting. Wait, that's not a frog. What is that? That's a chicken? Why is it vomiting noxious gas? If this is a boss, there's no boss music. What? What, I mean, what is this garbage? Anytime I get near, it it, it runs away. Wow, this- this sucks. Oh, oh, oh. I just had to catch it. I just sucked at the game. That's what that was. Oh, this is a brand new level that I haven't seen. Speed run time. That's how they're getting away with it. They designed like seven levels and they're just reusing them. Okay. I almost- I almost threw my keyboard. But then I realized it's not worth it. Not over Doola Doobie Star. See, I, you know, this might be a little bit more manageable. If this game had controller support, I could navigate some of these... ...these things a little bit better. Son. Son, that is not enough time. I need... ...better controls than just... ...WASD for a 3D platformer. That's crazy! This early on? <laughs> One second to go! I didn't really make any mistakes! Alright, uh, so we did that, we did that, now- now we get stone levels. Look at- look at this! That is definitely an original asset, do not steal. Question mark block. I hate it. Oh my lord, do I hate that noise. We have to suffer until the first boss, I'm sorry. It was written in the Doola Doobie prophecy that there would be... that there would be a single boss fight before the pain would be ended. That on the, the eve of, of great suffering and torment, there would be an eclipse. It's a solar eclipse. It's a solar eclipse of the heart. And all of our hearts would warm up to Doola Doobie. Who is not only a Mario ripoff, but also a Spyro ripoff, too. I like how there's no difference between walking on water and walking on land. That was just too hard to program. Some poor Chinese programmer who was probably getting paid less than Doola Doobie gets paid. Which is saying a lot, because he's getting a fuckload of gold coins. Some poor Chinese guy, who could barely feed his family, was tasked with programming this game. 14 hour workdays. And then he fucking, you know, then they're like, well, can you make the water work? He's like, I can't! It releases in a week! God, this is... Oh no, still doing more. See, this isn't World 2 yet, we're still on World 1. And you know I can't stop Doola Doobieing until I hit the first boss and get to World 2. Then the Doola Doobie can stop and the punishment will end. Here it is. First boss. It's a, a flower. It's 
Guys, it's PD Piranha. Wait, no, it's not. It's Polly Piranha. Uh oh. I'm munyed. One more. Just have to avoid. Uh oh, I have to avoid the puke. Was it worth it? No, it wasn't. Was it worth the time you spent? I don't think so. Hey, look at this. Okay, below that star are things that will kill me. So if I don't jump directly into the star, or if I by accident try to go under the star to get it, I would die. And probably have to fight the boss again. Alright, next boss. Now nah, we're done with this shit, don't worry. Don't worry, this isn't... More of this isn't happening. I'll tell you what though, I do want to see the theme of the next level. Just to see what it looks like. Okay, so the theme is purple planets. Also, why are there like so- that's- those are the souls of all the people that played this game. I've been added to one of them. One of those souls is me. I'm forever part of the collective... ...group of humans who have lost their soul to Doola Doobie Star. Look, Doola Doobie's looking at me. He's angry. He's like, play my fucking game. You can't leave. You have to play all of it. ALL OF IT!